In the Big 12 regular season finishes with a bang. Tonight in Lubbock, the number 18 ranked Red Raiders of Texas Tech welcome TCU as part of their first games of three in this final week. Chris Beard said Mike Miles, one of the best freshmen in the country, stepped up so big this season. Texas Tech snapped that three-game losing streak. There's Marcus Santos Silva with a nice finish underneath. Well, that's where Hooper gets into the gap to try to free themselves for an open look. Shannon lobs it, and a lay-in for Tyreek Smith. He has four points. TCU back up one. Tyler Edwards. Wing three falls foul, so it's Texas Tech ball with the inbound underneath. Santos Silva working on Eddie Lampkin, the freshman. Shannon for three. Short, Micah Peavy keeps it alive, and that is a head shaker for Jamie Dixon. Inside to Peavy. Missed the layup, got his own board. Too strong again. Look at Santos Silva catches, goes out, and Edwards hits it. Way out there that time. Inside. And the finish for Edwards. Hot hand, Edwards. Good feed. Micah Peavy lays it in. Always preaches one step at a time. and. Off to a good start in the first two steps. Into Shannon, hits the mid-range jumper. Pressure, pressure, pressure. One hand, two hands, there's somebody running at the offensive player, and you can see Nemhart just rushed the shot. Feed inside and a good finish by Kyler Edwards, who now has 10 in the game. Some free agents yourself. That have an old coach like yourself uh, headaches, even though you're not on the sideline anymore? Remember the turnover ratio over the last five games, 18 to three in those two categories, which is spectacular. There's Shannon. Terrence Shannon punches it with two hands. Lock for the all freshman team. McClung. Feeds it. Oh my goodness, that was a really falling away. You see Nemar, when he does get some sort of room at the rim, he is a tremendous finisher. <laughs> McClung right back to it. Agbo into Tyreek Smith on the roll. Up and in. And one chance for the redshirt freshman from Baton Rouge. Evie whips back to Smith, takes a deep two and cashes it. Couple options for Peavy, who backs away. Jumps in, floats it up, Micah Peavy. Well, the reason they were able to do this, instead of attacking, they just dribbled backwards, and Texas Tech defense again the aggressor, and Jamie Dixon trying to change things up a little bit, not to chase that motion, playing some zone. Texas Tech had that lineup of a lot of youngsters in and did nicely against TCU for a few minutes. And now the starter's back out there. And it's the extended the lead with the bench. Yeah. Shannon in for Peavy instead. McCuller from the corner. Oh, power and quickness. Edwards corner three, Kyler Edwards has 20 points. He's four of five from long range. We talked to Chris Beard about the Big 12 and how good it is, and he said, you know, look, this, the question gets asked every yeah, year. We don't really have stars. We have a team of players, and we expect them all to be ready at any moment, and tonight they are sharing the basketball, cutting, and making tough shots. Clung on the screen from Golden. Fighting inside with Eddie Lampkin. Lost the handle for a second. Goes up strong, and that'll get the crowd on their feet. <laughs> One light on. We'll leave the light on and the ball's out in case you want to get up 300 shots. <laughs> Another extra, extra.
For Chris Beard's side, it's two straight wins. The number 18th ranked Texas Tech Red Raiders take care of business in a big way, and they did it their way tonight, Tim.